So I'm here on a beautiful Santiago summer day, uh, not far from my favorite Starbucks with a lady who is uh, an astrophysicist at the Catholic University of Chile. And I'm gonna let Patricia de Serra uh, tell you how you would pronounce that in Spanish. I'm not bold enough to do that, but uh, how would you pronounce that, uh, Patricia? Uh, I'm a professor at Universidad Católica de Chile. And you are the principal investigator for a years-long mathematical modeling effort called Cielo, yes. uh, which is, uh, tell us what that's about. The Cielo is a project that um, aims to uh, recreate virtually, to create virtual universe, to study how galaxies form, and particularly how our galaxy, the Milky Way, forms. And what is a virtual universe? A virtual universe is a universe that we've built in computers, like a video game, but where we build these uh, galaxies from the physical uh, processes that we know, or we believe take place in the universe, and we model them as, as, bet, as good as we can using mathematics, informatics, and we use computers to do all the calculations and then come out with these virtual galaxies in the universe. So we can travel in time and travel around the galaxies and see how they form and how they evolve. And then we compare this virtual universe to our real universe and see how good or how bad we did. Okay, and so you, you mentioned that you have millions of particles that in 20 years time or 15 years time or 30 years time our ability to mathematically create virtual universes is just, you know, the progress has been astounding, correct? Correct. But to, to be clear, we're, when you say particles, you're not talking about physical particles. You're talking about numbers that, right, yeah. that represent particles. Exactly. And how do you use those? So how you were telling me in the interview just now that you use, you compare actual observations with your numerical models and you're continually going back and forth honing your models so that they are more representative of reality. Is that right? Exactly. We, we build up our, our galaxy, for example, by using the gravity. Gravity is our main force. So by uh, making the, you know, we make the, the computer to do the calculations of how the mass move in the universe and how they form the galaxy or a galaxy, and then we compare the velocities, the distribution of the mass, the temperature, uh, the chemical elements in the stars and in the, in the gas surrounding the, the stars. We compare those with the observations. And from this comparison, we learn if we assume the correct hypothesis or which ones need to be modified, and we start again. So this is a game that never ends, basically, because we are continuously learning about the physics, about also the informatics, because this, you know, the computer science are also advancing in time. So we are borrowing information from different, from physics, from mathematics, from informatics to build up better universe, virtual universes, to compare or to learn how our real universe works. And you are going back to a redshift of 100, which is just incredible that's before the era of reionization, back to when there was really only dust in the universe uh, and trying to model how our galaxy formed and evolved uh, from the earliest stages. So how old, uh, we were just discussing this in the interview, how old do you think our universe is? And, and you were telling me one thing that was puzzling to you is that how are, you know, when did the, when, not the universe, how old is our galaxy, pardon me, how old is our galaxy, Milky Way galaxy, actually? And how do you define when the galaxy actually began? Yeah, this is a, a difficult question. We know that there are stars in the galaxies that are really very old, almost as old as the universe, like a 13, 12, 10 to the... Uh, Bil billion, billion years. Billion years, billion years, years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, And then, um, so, but the, the problem here is to decide when you form the galaxy because the galaxy has also a billion of stars 
and you need to know, and they form it at different times. So it is difficult to say when the galaxy, when our galaxy form. But um, it has um, it has the stars that beginning that begin their formation very very early of um, when the first first um, clumps of first uh, galaxies were uh, starting to form. And so, what puzzles? Uh, well, first of all, before I ask you that, we were talking about how common do you think Milky our Milky Way is mm. in the cosmos, uh, and that's kind of. Is it, is it really common or we don't really know? Yeah, the galaxy is, um, is, is, it has two phases probably, we can say it. Like a, it's, a, it's a common galaxy in a sense that it's, a, it's an spiral galaxy with a, with a central spheroidal, which is a common spiral galaxy. But on the other hand, we know it has a particular history of formation. Uh, it didn't have a, an, a large merger or a massive merger uh, in the last millions of years. And it has been stable for a long time. In the last billions of billions years. Pro of years. Probably Sorry, <laughs> I have a problem with the billions yeah. and the millions. <laughs> <laughs> probably since uh, three billion years. That's what yeah, your colleague, yeah. I believe, okay. told me. Yeah. Uh, uh, and this is, uh, th it means that there was not a, a very dis major disturbing event uh, for a long time. So for, for at least seven billion years. Yeah. Because uh, the... The standard idea is a, is a galaxy, I believe, is 10 to 11 billion years old. Yeah. Although you say the amazing thing to you is what? That you have stars. The amazing thing is that there are stars that are really very, very old. Even older, older than, than the than galaxy. That. Yeah. In our galaxy it, today. In the, yes, because they form in the first clumps or the first structure that, are, that later merge to form our galaxy. So these stars have an information of the first stages of formation of our universe, the first stages of formation of the galaxy itself. So this is, I think, amazing because in our galaxy, in our backyard here, we have this information of the first, uh, the first uh, moments of formation of the structure in the universe. So one last thing, and you know, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, you know, it, it, we're surrounded by chemical complexity of a sort that, that boggles the mind. Uh, what does the fact that we are on this planet talking in esoteric terms about all this tell you about the history of our chemical evolution, of, the, the history of, the, of our galaxy's chemical evolution, that, that we are able to do this? Well... As I, as I told you before, no, our, uh, all the chemical elements that we know in the Earth, like carbon, hydrogen, um, well, not hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, uh, nitrogen, they all form in the interiors of the stars. Uh, so we are lucky, in a sense, to be in a planet that have all these uh, chemical elements that life, as we know, at least, need to, to, to form. So I don't know if it is a, a cosmic <laughs> casualty or not, but uh, this is a very uh, distinctive place in our galaxy. Um, we give us, you know, the opportunity to have this planet. And I will say that I will take this opportunity also to say that we should take care of this planet. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Patricia, yeah. for taking the time today. Good luck. Uh, with the survey and the survey will continue for another couple of years. The yeah, simulation, yeah, simulations we will carry out, yeah, yeah, because we are now improving the code, and uh, and then uh, new simulations will be run, are actually being run at the moment. So we will continue for several years, hopefully. Thank you so much.